I'm back with another transit report, and I'm wondering if you, like me, noticed any shocks today. Happy Third Line Day. It is the right angle cross of penetration. Third Line Days are really wonderful for discovering things that do not work, for being adaptable, resilient, and touching base with those things that we look for to find our discoveries of new experience. What's new? What's on the other side? Where is the adventure? Where is the wonder? Where is the shock? Which is what today is all about. I was shocked when I found myself talking today in my rave cartography class, rather forceful, a little bit uh, firm, as one of my students said. And it wasn't surprising to see that in my just now connection, I happen to have the ego connected to the throat. And one of the boundaries you'll notice in my classes is that I really cannot analyze a chart for someone who is not in the class. And it's up to me, my responsibility, to make sure that everybody in that class, if they want the opportunity to speak and to ask, that they are given that. I require that I look at a chart in order to give precise advice. I cannot comfortably give generalities anymore now that I know what I know about the human design chart. Every single chart is utterly unique. I can feel this awareness building that there needs to be alignment when it comes to me giving advice to someone else. When in reality, all of us are here learning about human design with our own charts together. So I said something to that effect today in class, and it was a little bit shocking to me when it came out of my mouth with such force. And there it is, the have to gate and the shock gate. So let's go explore that. The voice that says have to, and then that sun with its gate, 51 in the third line, expressing shock. This is the arousing. So the life-sustaining awareness that thinks on its feet and thus creates opportunities, the power of spontaneity in times of challenge. And you can see that sun in exaltation because sun exalts this line. And where this is grounded is in the gate 57, the earth, which is the line of acuteness here. This is the gentle, the gate of intuitive clarity where mercury exalts this line. The perfected intelligence where clarity eliminates doubt and ensures manifestation. The possibility of perfected intuition. No polarity here. So you can see we've got two very individual gates in the body graph. So anytime you find yourself wondering what's happening, what's going on, you, you notice something unusual or different about yourself, really great opportunity to go and take a look at that transit and see what do you have in the design temporarily defined because of the transits? And what is that doing to you with regards to your expression or your way that you're showing up? And it gives us a good opportunity to laugh, shrug our shoulders and say, oops, oh well, no choice, there it is. The experience of witnessing and watching what happens to us when we have that transit move through us. And so let's go back to just looking at the just now. Individuality is a very strong theme here. And when we're looking at individuality, it is really important to recognize that there is nothing like it in the body graph. There is no comparison. It's all unique, all different, all genius or freak, shall we say. I'm one of those people that stands for the uniqueness and difference as well. One of my students made this beautiful illustration upon request of another student, and I wanted to share it with you today. You can see that we have all of the quarter gates in the first quarter activated in the wheel. And the reason this quarter is called the quarter of initiation, because it's our initiation of mind, purpose fulfilled through mind, into the world of form the next quarter. And as you can see, when we light up all the gates of this quarter, you'll find that gate 51, that gate 25, creating an individual channel and a definition between the heart center and the higher self. 
So if we go over to check out our beautiful kite as it's progressing around the wheel, you can see we've still got that Earth, but now the planets are spreading a bit, fanning out, as you can see, with the moon charging ahead, leading the way in gate 45, the gate of the gatherer. And here we are in the sixth line of reconsideration. Now, you might be wondering, what happened to line two, Lavina? Well, you can see line two I wasn't around for because I had a doctor's appointment very far away. It was four hours of driving, and this morning I just could not get myself out of bed early enough before the profit potential analysis that I had scheduled this morning. And that's what you get when you got a projector body. It is taking care, taking rest, and not pushing oneself too hard when it comes to what you do in this life, things get done when they get done. And it is important to recognize that all of us must obey this pulse of mutation inside of us, our pulse of energy. All of us, there's a time and a space and a place for everything, everything in right timing and everything in right space. You know, so being, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of you knows in this chart, you know? Have you noticed how many times you've said you know today? Or maybe you don't know. Individual circuitry is very much about mutation and melancholy. And individual circuitry has a lot of creativity. The poster channels for individuality or the expression traits of this creativity. You can see the creative channels of the knowing circuit, the 1-8. Hi, that's me. The channel of inspiration and the 1222 openness and the 5125 initiation, all of which are creative channels of their respective circuitry. Knowing is very much about empowerment. Empowerment is very much about knowing. And boy, can it get ugly when there is not knowing. So have you noticed the power of spontaneity in any time of challenge on this day? And did you notice the acuteness, the perfected intelligence, where clarity eliminates doubt and ensures manifestation, the possibility of perfected intuition? No polarity here. I like to call this one the bullshit detector because acuteness is this penetrating awareness that really gets to the heart of something. Where is that boundary? Where is that line? Where does it manifest potentially out into the world? It's reaching towards tomorrow, that 57th gate, the fear of tomorrow. Here on this slide, we have all of the channels pictured, depicted, that are about what it is to be empowered in knowing or not. Knowing by marching to the beat of your own drum when you're inspired to structure your awareness, to find what you can find in the meaning of life because it is a struggle in our aloneness and openness to be a part of something greater than ourselves require that we rely on our knowing, our brain wave, and our emoting, our mutation. Now, all of us are going to express these traits differently. These are strengths in our design, and those strengths are built upon specific planetary aspects in specific relationship with each other. When you look at a body graph and you see something that is defined, this is individuality, this is specificity, this is highly specialized, uniquely that person. And you cannot separate it from the rest of the design. When you allow yourself to trust the knowing, your truth is your own and no one else's. It is not up to us to figure out anyone else's truth. Truth is lived within moment by moment with every decision that you make, every breath that you take, taking you closer and closer home to your individual truth.